In episode one, I talked about the iPad Air, the iPad Mini 2, and the iPad Mini. But since then, Apple has changed its offering. So now, with the addition of the iPad with Retina display, all of the iPads have five megapixel cameras and use the lightning connector. So how do you decide which one's right for you? Just keep using that iPad too if you want to. Um, all of these iPads work great on campus for eText and for IU Anywhere. With IU Anywhere, it doesn't matter which of these iPads you have because all of the processing takes place off in a server in the cloud. Basically, where you're gonna see performance differences are with things like games and videos. Whenever you bring a new iPad to campus, the easiest way to set it up is with Get Connected for iOS at gc.iu.edu. What Get Connected does is set up your email and your wireless and anything else you need for your iPad on campus. At IU, you can do so much more than just email and browsing with your iPad. You can use IU Anywhere to get to all the applications you need for school or for work, open all of your files in cloud storage, and print to any of the printers on campus. That's it for this edition of Tech Bytes. Next time, I'll talk about my favorite iPad keyboard cases. Bye-bye.